In this video, I'm going to go over node editing. I was sent a message today and a lady asked me if you could turn a photograph into an SVG file. And you can, but keep in mind that a photograph is made up of thousands of pixels and an SVG is made up of tabs. Uh, scalable vector graphics uh, for the purposes of our cutting machines um, are just paths that our machine cuts around. And we typically use cardstock, heat transfer vinyl, or permanent or removable vinyl. So those are all flat colors. Um, so you can get an SVG file off of a photograph, but it's going to be uh, in just a few colors because otherwise it takes a lot of work to try to separate everything to get many, many colors, okay? It's not like getting a coloring book picture off of Google and coloring it in. So here's the photograph that I was sent. Now, if you look at this, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's very blurry. And the resolution is only 335 by 233. That is not gonna work. Uh, you need to have a resolution of at least 500 by 500. So what I did was I went to Google and I grabbed a photograph of a Boston Terrier puppy and I downloaded it to my computer. So now I'm going to import it into Inkscape. And it's going to come in quite large. So I'm going to change this to inches. Make sure my lock is locked. And I'm going to change it to about 5 inches. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap. And this box is going to come up. When yours comes up, these are going to be your defaults. I've already used it once, obviously. So um, what I do is I uncheck smooth, uncheck stack scans, and check remove background. And then click update and see what it looks like. Now you can play around with your threshold. You can raise it. It's going to put more black in it. And you can lower it below the 450 default and it will put more white in it. It just depends on what you prefer. So I'm going to go with about 420 and click OK and then close that box out. Left click and drag this away. This is my path. This is now my SVG. And this is my photograph. It says image down here and obviously it's my image. So I'm going to move this off to the side, and then I'm going to grab my path here, and his chest is white, his mouth is white. So as you can see, there's nothing here. Remember, everything that's white in Design Space, it, I am sorry, Inkscape, is transparent. So you can see that page border. So uh, now, you could fill this in with white, but you don't have anything connected here. There's no way you can fill that in because you don't have a bounded area, meaning it's not closed in. So about the only thing that you're going to get good enough for uh, an SVG file to cut on your machine is his face. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing I want to do is cut this path right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to grab my eraser tool and this erase, ex it erases, I can't talk tonight. Sorry about that. Erases existing paths. Okay. Click on that and I'm going to try to follow the way that his face curves here, but just to the left of that so that I can adjust it if I need to and that cut that path. So now there's, zoom back out, and I'm sorry if the zooming in and zooming out drives you nuts, but I have to do it so that I can see what I'm doing. And you're gonna wanna do that also. So uh, now I'm gonna go to my 
Edit Paths by Nodes tool right underneath my selection arrow. And I'm going to click on that, and a bunch of squares are going to come up. And these are all the uh, nodes is what your cutting machine follows to cut. So I don't need these. I'm going to left click and draw a box around them and delete them. Just hit delete on the keyboard. I'm also going to do it with these here, with all of these here, and these here. Be careful not to get his space. Uh, these here, and then I'm going to have to zoom in so I can see my cut path here. I'm going to delete all of these. And you can pan by pressing your mouse wheel down. Now, if you grab this and pull it in, just pull it back out. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. And you can also click on these. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, though, before you click on them is turn your snapping off. If you have anything highlighted on your snapping, just uh, click this first button. And your snapping tools might be over here to the right. The way you can get them, everything up here on the top, is go to view custom okay and then continue to delete them if you get one that's too close to these here you can just left click on it and hit delete on your keyboard and sometimes you'll think that you're clicking on a node and you're actually clicking on a handle and you can't delete a handle you have to delete the node scroll up delete that delete that I'm getting there. And while you're doing this process, don't worry about what it looks like. Just keep going until you get everything deleted that you know you wanted to delete. Now let's go back to our selection arrow and look at it and see what it looks like. Now, that looks okay, but when you go to cut this, it's going to cut all of those paths. It's going to cut out each little piece and when you go to weed it, what you're going to weed is all this outside area. This is all going to come out around his mouth is all going to come out and chances are these little bitty pieces, they're going to come out too. They're not going to stay. Um so what I do is I zoom in and anything that has, you know, four load nodes or less Told you I couldn't talk tonight. I select those and I delete them. This one has three, but if I zoom back out, that kind of defines his ear a little bit. So I'm going to stretch that out. I'm going to go back to my node editing tool. I'm going to select a couple of nodes and I'm going to pull up on them. And then I can use the handles. I can click on a node, I can use the handles to make it bigger, wider, however I think I want it to look. And if you click on a node and you don't have any handles, then when your node edited, oh Jesus, this is gonna be the worst video ever, I'm sorry. When your edit paths by nodes tool is selected, go to this top bar and over here, the second one from the end, this will show your handles if you make sure that's highlighted, okay? So then zoom back out, check it out, and it's a little bit bigger now, so that looks okay. And you can do that with any of these little pieces. It's just like this one here. I don't see why that's necessary to be there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. I'm gonna select my Edit Paths by Nodes tool again. I'm gonna select my nodes and I'm gonna delete them. So then I'm going to go around the picture and any nodes, clusters of four or less that I see, um, I'm probably going to delete unless it defines something like his eye. Okay, go back to my selection tool and I'll zoom out and this right here is his eye. And that's one of the reasons that I kept this photograph here so I could refer to it. So. 
this is this part here and i think i would like that a little bit bigger like this one so i'm going to go back to my node editing tool i'm going to zoom in and if when you click on your editing tool if your nodes don't come up then just click on your image and they will so i'm going to select these two and i'm going to stretch them out a little bit but i grabbed the handle see that stretch them out just a little bit zoom back out and I think that looks better. So this I believe is either a glare or an iris, these two or these two. Um, so I'm gonna leave all those there. Now, when I go to weed them, I'm not guaranteed that they're gonna stay, but I'm gonna try to have them stay. Uh, some of these up here, I think they're worth deleting. They're obviously hairs that are going to be very, very thin. Now, if you get that happen, you need to, because this is probably never ending, okay? You're going to have to find what node that is connected to and click on it and delete it. Because otherwise, when you take this into your cutting program, that line is going to be there okay so once you have it about how you think it will cut okay you can delete your photograph and this is now a scalable vector graphic you can size it as large as you want or as small as you want and it's going to stay the same it's going to look the same okay um so now you can go to file save as choose the destination give it a name save it as a plain svg and take it into your cutting program so uh i hope you'll try it out i know a lot of people are cutting these um and putting them on glass blocks or uh shadow boxes especially of pets of people that have passed away pets that belonged to people and the pets have passed away um and then they'll put a little saying along the side and um they look pretty nice so try it out leave me a comment let me know how it worked for you and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching